here. I am just going to run a few errands today. Our main errand is Mason has to get two cavities filled and get fitted for Invisalign. Um, so this is going to be just like running around, hardly any makeup on kind of look. So I did dye my hair. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this red, but whatever. I don't care. So I don't know if you remember what my color looked like before, but here's a picture of it. And here it is now. So it's pretty vibrant, but it was just yesterday. And even though it's a permanent color, because I always dye my hair with permanent color, because it always washes out really quick. So it doesn't matter if I dye permanent or not. So whatever, it's hair. I'm one of those people that I don't freak about cutting my hair, obviously, because I've shaved the side of my head. And I don't freak about coloring my hair. So it is what it is, and it's fine. So I don't care. So I'm going to, I've already um, moisturized, and I'm going to put just a little um, e.l.f primer on. I'm actually going to stop by Ulta today because I got a gift card and I was watching Jacqueline Hill yesterday with like some of her favorite things and um, my favorite moisturizer, no, sorry, not moisturizer, foundation ever because I don't usually, sorry, I'm getting my beauty blender a little damp. I don't usually um, buy high-end foundation because I can usually find one at the drugstore that I like just as well. So I saved that money. So I've got my beauty blender just a little damp here. But my favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Lumi. It's my tried and true. It's the one I go to. Sometimes I'll mix it with a little bit of like matte um, foundation or I'll mix it with just the L'Oreal True Match because that one dries out my face a little bit. So I'll mix them if I need a certain color. But, oh, what am I doing? I need to cover up those bags at least a little bit. <sighs> Oh, and I redid my nails. These are those Nicole, um, gosh, what is it? Your nail, N-U-I-L or something. But I'm a digger with my ring finger all the time. I always dig that. You can't anymore when it's got bling bling all over it. So then I have to use a different finger. So that's just weird. And it's the wrong finger. Sorry. That made it really rough. So I'm going to cover up my bags with just a little bit of NYX. I've got the medium color. I put these nails on night before last. And I just now posted a picture of them because I'm off of work right now because it's Christmas break for the school district. And so I've just been busy and it feels like uh, I let them play and make a mess and then I clean it up. And then I play and they make a mess and then I clean it up. And I know that's reality, but with all the Christmas stuff, they have just have so many more Christmas gifts and I want them to play with them all. So, you know. Anyways, let's get back. Really, I was talking about foundation and went on to Christmas gifts and Christmas vacation. Okay, anyways, let's get back to let's talk about. I wanted to go to Ulta because um, Jacqueline Hill mentioned that L'Oreal has, I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's some kind of true match, but it's in like a little round container and maybe it's like a mousse or something. But anyways... I was like, oh, I want to try that. And she also mentioned that NYX has a new um, lip product that's like suede. So it's like a mixture of a lipstick and a mixture of um, a, what am I thinking of? Lip with like a matte lip. So it's like a mixture of it. So it's not too drying. And she said that the formula felt great. So I was like, oh, I'll try one of those too. So I'm going to go pick up those two products and... I may or may not pick up one or two more products. Not that I need anything. I actually think I'm good because I ordered so much stuff from Color ColourPop and um, who else did I order from? Gosh, I did a view, review on them. You all know. <laughs> ColourPop and e.l.f. And I did have a little Sephora order come in, but it was like face products, like my purity and stuff. Okay, so... I have to fill it in. I'm in for. If anyone wonders, like, I wonder what color she wears. I'm in for in this. And it's always a perfect match. And I do exfoliate my face, like, at least once a week. I thought about going to get a spray tan. And even contacted my friend who has her own tanning salon. And she was like, come on in. I'll give you half off. So I need to go do that ASAP. Today I'm going to use um, the Maybelline Fit Me in Light. And I'm going to just put it right here. I know the lighting's really bad. It's snowed, and so it's just a little bit more, more dark than usual outside. But it's, I think, more ice. <laughs> I think it was like ice and not a whole lot of snow. But the kids did go out for a hot minute. Kids, my older two kids. I did not send the twins out in that freezing. It was really cool. 
make someone to come in immediately. And I was like, I'm mm, pretty sure that I told you that wasn't enough clothes when you went out the door, but he's 12. So what you gonna do? I always tell everybody at work when he goes to school and he's got shorts on with a hoodie and half the time he just leaves the hoodie in my office. I'm like, it's not a battle. It's worth fighting. Who cares? Let's not scream and yell at each other for what you're going to wear, or how cold you're going to be. If he's not cold, I don't care. You know, like when it's kindergarten and I'm sending Marley to school, well, I'm going to send her with a coat and gloves and a hoodie and everything that she possibly needs because then if it's warm enough, her teacher won't make her take it out. But if they don't go prepared, they don't get to go outside. So I would prepare her. Plus she's young. So she doesn't know. She needs help from her mom. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I told you what I used for. Now I'm going to set it with this elf powder, which I love. I just don't like the packaging. That's a hot mess every time. So I'm just going to dab that right in and tap a little off and set this under eye a little bit so it does not creasy creasy. I am proud of myself the last two days. I have um, eaten well and went to the gym and today I'm even going to the gym and I've already done a whole bunch of ab um, at home. I had Mason hold my feet and did a whole bunch of setups. So two days in a row. I know that doesn't sound like a lot but I prepped myself like I didn't buy a whole bunch of junk at the grocery store the other day. I shopped in the outsides of the grocery store. Has anybody ever heard about that? Like you don't shop in the middle aisles. You only shop on the outside because the outsides were the fresh fruits and vegetables and um, where the meats are. So that's where I shopped. A couple things I had to go in the middle aisles for, for, you know, the kids, but that's about it. Um, I don't know where my other bronzer is. Is it in here? Oh, it's right here. I'm going to use this Tarte bronzer that I got just to bronze up just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going anything crazy here. Just gonna look my, make myself look like I'm awake and not dead. See, a little contour. Ow, that was on my elbow in the drawer. And then always blend up, don't ever blend down because we don't want to drag that down and make you look muddy when it, to make like your cheekbones are higher than the actual are. It's all an illusion. Smokes and mirrors, people, smokes and mirrors. I'm going to, so I can get that cut, use this new brush that I got from Morphe, that really tiny one, just so you guys can see me use it. And I'm gonna pick up some just powder. I'm gonna kind of pack it on too. There we go. And I'm gonna put that right here. So it'll just make my cheekbones look higher and higher. And you can drag it down as much as you want. I'm not trying to go cray cray. Oh, I hear one of the babies. I don't think they even went to sleep. It's Maisie. I can tell. I think it was Maverick earlier, but they're getting to the point where they're not taking um, two naps. They're only taking one. And I'm like, oh, Lordy. I enjoyed those two naps so I could get some stuff done, but they're growing up. I hate it. Okay, I'm going to go in with, uh, let's start with, peach smoothie and it's on my Morphe brush. Oh, sorry. My husband texted me and I just swiped it away. So that's why you saw my finger. Okay. Let's blend that in. We're really just covering up veins and all that nastiness. Kind of giving us a transition color, even though we're not going to put much color in here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the darker brown, which do you guys want to hear everything that I use? Frappe. And I got it on my nail. Just a little bit of frappe right here. Is it right there? Right there, and that's it. We're going to blend, blend, blend. I kind of cut it with my fingernail, so now it's like harsh. That's okay. I'm going to stick it in there, and we're going to blend it out. Everything will be fine. Now I'm going to wipe that off and get a clean brush so I can really blend that out. Because right here... It went on too dark. So, I don't think I've done a makeup tutorial. I've done in a while. I've done tons of other things, but you guys are probably sick of my everyday looks, but this is really what I rock most of the time. Like if I'm going on a date or something like that, then I will do something more dramatic, but not today. Okay, I know the lighting's bad. Can you see? It's just makes my eyes look more natural. Now I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna pop white down here just to make my eyes look a little bit more bright. And I've never used this white before. 
So let's go porcelain. Oh, it's, it's good. It's not too white. It just brightens that inner corner. Makes me look more awake. That's what we're going for. Supposed to look like yourself. But better. And I don't even think I'm going to do my eyebrows. I think I'm just going to take my NYX pencil and just fill them in just a little bit. Like just to kind of glue them. I don't even think I want to do them. Like fill them in with a, a pencil or some shade. Not throwing no shade at your eyebrows. Not throwing no shade. That one needs to go up just a little bit. And this is some dark stuff, so if you get it too far, you have really put on some eyebrows. Okay, so I just filled those in. I'm going to take a black liner, which I forgot to buy a sharpener. So guess what I'm going to be buying? A sharpener. Very soon. Where's my mirror? Here it is. Sorry, I'm going to take my elf mirror so I can look into it, because that mirror's too far away. And I'm going to just put it just a little bit right here on my lash line. Just to make my eyelashes look fuller right there on the outside. Okay, here we go. Next one. Same thing. We can blend that out. I think I'm going to because it's a little harsh right there. Oh, where's my blending brush? Come here, blending brush. Oh, here's one. I like this, I like this one a lot. I don't know what it is. It's a makeup geek. I'm just going to blend that a little bit because I'm just trying to make the lash line look thicker. I'm not trying to get any fancy eyeliner going there. No wing look or anything. It, this, If you put some in your waterline and you put it just right on the top, it'll make your lashes look thicker. There we go. Thicken them up a little bit. Okay, I get it. Fix. I didn't bring my chair in here today. Okay, I'm gonna brush off this white right here, and I'm not even putting on any blush. That bronzer is going to be it. That's going to be all I have. But I'm going to take a little bit of champagne pop and um, put it on my cheekbones because I do want to look like I am hydrated and refreshed. See that? My cheekbones? There you go. Right there. Sometimes I like to bring it like right here too. Right there. Down the tip of the nose and right on the chin. Just like the sun gave you. Okay kids, let's do some mascara. Ooh, let me do a little review on this mascara with you. Um, I bought the Falsy Push Up Drama and I like it very much. Gotta curl the eyelashes. I am somebody who I'm like, if I only needed one thing in life, it would be an eyelash curler because the difference between having your eyelashes not curled and then curled makes your eyes open so much better. So if you do not curl your eyelashes, you need to. You can get eyelash curlers anywhere, but curl your eyelashes, ladies, and add some shiny lip gloss. That's the only thing I do. I do always have to cover, uh-oh, there's my hair in my way. I always do have to cover up my bag. So if really, like yesterday, I took a shower, but I put jammies on, but then I was going to the gym, and I know you're thinking, well, you put makeup on to the gym. I cover up my bag, and I put a little lip gloss on. That's all I did, because then I look like I have a little bit of something going on, not just dead. Walking into the gym dead is not a good look. I'm just sorry. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm just trying not to scare anybody. There's a hair on it. And I'm pretty, it's not mine. That is not my eyelash. If it was, I'd be like, who needs mascara? And I'm not going to put anything on my lower lashes either to give my eyes more of a doe effect. Okay. Now, what you're going to think is crazy is I've been dying to use this ColourPop color. It is Stingray, R-A-Y-E, you know, like Ray Ray. So I'm going to line my lips real quick. This is a NYX liner, and it's like a nude. Just trying to keep it from not going everywhere. OK, 
okay so i am putting this color on my lips because i want to try it out otherwise i'd throw on like a pinky gloss Mm-hmm. It's not too dry. You can hear the kids playing. What do you think? It does not do justice. Let's pick it up. What do you think? Hmm? I like it. I think I would have to add a little color, but since I have that highlight, it's not too bad. But otherwise, you need a little bit of color on your cheeks. Okay, that's it, y'all. I'm going to take Mason to the dentist. Wish him luck because I freak out going to the dentist. Anybody else? I like get anxiety. My heart races. I get kind of sweaty. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the dentist. Even when I just go to um, actually get my teeth cleaned. Because I'm like, can I have the floss? And I will floss myself, please. Can I? Because they like ram it up there and then it makes my gums bleed and then they're sore for three days. Yeah, you guys understand. <laughs> okay, well that's it for today. Here's just going to run some errands kind of look. I hope you guys have a blessed day. If you have more questions about these nails, um, you can leave a comment below. But I'm, I also did a tutorial on them. So this is just the different brand. Um, to be honest, the Kiss brand I like a little bit better. But... I have three sets of these, so I'm going to use them. So if you have any questions, let me know. I love you guys. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Have a blessed day. Love you.